Okay, we're going to add some parameters to a part here. Open up a part that doesn't have any parameters right now. And once it's open, I go to Tools, Parameters. You can see the part only has two of the default parameters that <coughs> Creo parts come with. So to add my new parameters, all I have to do is hit the plus sign, switch it to a string, and the first one I'm going to add is title underscore line one. Second one will be title underscore line two. Third one will be drawing name. DWG name. This one will be rev. The next one will be material line one. <coughs> material line two. Next assembly. Date. Okay. And then I can hit OK. Now my parameters are in here. Now, let's say I wanted to use this part as a template, which is a good idea. I could do a file, save as, save a copy. And then in a folder somewhere, I could call it start part. All right, and since it's an inch part, I'll put a underscore in on the end. I hit OK. Now I'll go ahead and open that start part. <coughs> Delete all this stuff. Size of blank part and save it. So when I create a new part now, and if I don't want to have to put those parameters in over and over again, I can just hit new. My new menu will pop up. And let's say this was the name of the part. I can turn this off, use default template. When I hit OK, it says, well, what do you want to use for your parts, and you can see they have those simple parameters. So I could also hit browse and it open my start part. And now, if I use that as my template, when I hit OK, I can see if I go under parameters, all of them are there. So I don't have to put them in again. All right, so that's a pretty handy thing. But we'll go back to my original part. And in these parameters, to show you how they work, we'll give some information here. So we'll call this thing wheel. And the value for it, string just means you can add whatever you want in there. This will be ms1001 dash one. The rev will be dash. Material line, let's say this thing is made out of aluminum. Let's say it's. 61. The next assembly is MS01 H00, drawn by me. Drawn date today is 10 17 17. So I hit OK. Save my part. Control S2. And then now when I create my new drawing, and I say I'm creating a drawing for MS01. One. That brings this nice format up. I can set empty with format. I can browse. I can find my format I made earlier. If I can remember where I put it. Formats. A size. And then when I hit OK, my title block is automatically going to fill in with all that information. Okay, and I can see that some of my sizes maybe need to be a little bit smaller. Okay, and then from there, 
I can just add my views in just like I would any other time. Stuff's on my other screen. A little front. Project view over, move that over. Again, I probably would use this format size. Now I have a nice part that fits in here. It takes all of those parameters for me. So I could save my drawing. Now my drawing's all set up. Alright. 